Hello, my name is Olaf Rohrbacher and I'm uh, responsible for the ceiling software and uh, this presentation is about making fixtures for PCBs for printed circuit boards when they don't have enough test points. So in the um, presentation we can see here on the first page that uh, 50 years ago through hole technology were the standard. With uh, through hole technology we have had the, um, the big benefit that all the nets are accessible because the components have uh, this component pin on the other side which uh, is very good accessible and uh, pitch the grid was 100 mil between pin and pin so big strong robust um, probes can be used to make the fixture. In the meanwhile the technology changed to SMD surface mounted devices so called SMT surface mounted technology. This PCB is um, from the 90s we can see very nice test points uh, also the wires are not covered with solder resist mask so they are very good accessible. This um, the, the difference between the through hole and the SMD is that you need the different head types where here on the SMD pad spears are very good and here triangle probes that they don't clamp into the hole so uh, for wires and for test points you need a bit different head types um, also the spacing uh, between test points can be uh, less than 100 mil so it can be that uh, it's 75 or 50 mil probes or even smaller probes like 40 mil probes are needed to make the in-circuit tester work. So the, with the surface mount technology um, uh, the head types change a bit and the diameters of the probes are getting less. So um, in the uh, newer PCBs it can be that um, there are not enough test points so that because maybe there is no space to place a test point or maybe the um, signal the, the circuit the copper uh, does not allow to make a test point to the net because of the frequency and it, this may work for as an antenna and uh, maybe uh, the functionality of the PCB um, it will be uh, changed and so maybe uh, test points cannot be placed not because of space problems maybe because of the signal integrity problems so now when you don't have access uh, for a test point or with a wire um, usually this net no access with the in circuit test fixture nail so, um, we have um, big customer in the in Japan and they make a mass production with fixtures which probe onto SMD component pins. I have here an example of an SMD component um, where probes can be placed here onto this area of the pad. Um, we look now onto the data sheet we see here the photo of the component this is the data sheet of the package we see here the component body and these are the legs these are the component pins of the um, device and here on the right side we see here example board layout this is then the cover this is the pad of the PCB uh, so it, it should be as a minimum and we can see here this is now a bit uh, bigger displayed. The pad geometry is that we have here a size of 0 0.6 millimeter. 0 0.6 millimeter 
can be contact with normal uh, fixture. It just require a guided uh, probe so that you have here accurate um, pre precision to put uh, the nail here um, onto this component pad. So we have a minimum pad size, 0.6 millimeter. And uh, now in the sealing software, it was possible since uh, uh, since ever actually to place here nails manually and this means a mouse click you click onto the pin and you force here a nail here and here and here a nail um, then in a, another step you shift the probe location probably from the center to outside here also here when you probe here from the center so that you are not hitting the component leg so that you land on the SMD pad, on the and SMD surface of the pad. So, um, how does it look then in the sealing software? The sealing software got enhanced in the automatic pin placement. This window, this configuration dialog is the sealing automatic pin placement configuration dialog. And here, um, the uh, operator decide where to put probes on, on the bottom side or on the top side, or maybe on both sides. Uh, four wire measurement can be enabled here with Kelvin measurement and uh, things like this. And this option here is new probe SMD component pins. When you go into the probe SMD component pins, if this option is enabled, then the SMD settings tab will be displayed where more configuration can be done. But before I uh, explain the SMD settings here, we can look at the priority. The priority tab is the um, uh, control, the priority tab control where the probes should be placed preferably. Um, the software search on a net, is there a test point? 100 is the highest priority. So it looks first, is there a test point on the net? If there is no test point, then it looks for a through-hole component pin. And if there is no through-hole component pin, then it may go to a wire. Oh, zero means disabled. Um, and if there is no um, a wire, then maybe on SMD, oh, SMD is also disabled, except here, is by package an extra option that package SO8 has a priority of 20. So this means software looks first. Is there a test point on net? If yes, it put be a nail on this test point. Does the test point has no, does the net has no test point, then goes to through all component pin. If there is no through all component pin, the next higher priority is then components with the package SO8 has a priority of 20. So the software will choose SO8 package as accessible location and it put a nail on it. Usually, and now we go to the SMD settings tab. SMD settings tab. Usually, the probe will be placed onto the center of the pad. When we look here, this is the pad. Here is the center of the pad. And this is a so-called zero, zero of this pad. Um, but when we go onto this uh, zero, zero, then it may land onto the component pin, on the component leg, which uh, is in this area, probably. So with the SMD settings, it's allowed to make shifting. So it can be a shift per package. So for SO8 packages, we make a shift of 60. And the shift will be um, away from the component center. We imagine that here is the component, this is the pad, here is the leg, so the shifting will be 60% away from the center. This is zero, this is 50%, and 
and this is 100%. So in the 60 is somewhere in this area. So the nail will be placed here. Um, if there is no package specific shifting, then the shifting will be the global shifting like here which is defined to be 75%, which is actually here, big, between 50 and 100 is 75, this is here. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the nail position shifted outside pad center. The algorithm is moving the probe from the center towards a certain direction up or down or left or right depending on to the component where the component body is it will be move away from the component center another setting what we can see here is minimum allowed pad size this is here in 1 over 1000 millimeter it's at 600 so this is 0.6 millimeter and so it fits to this uh, package if um, this SO8 would be less than 60, if the pins of this package are less than 600, then it will uh, be reported as not accessible because pad too small. Now we look how it see how it is displayed in the ceiling software. Now we see here this CAD data is a component D15. D, D, there are no probes. This component is then this SO8 package component, and this is the shift of 60 from the component body, uh, the shifting direction. So we see here we shift upwards, and here we shift downwards. So uh, this would be 0, and 60 is then here. And then we see here, this uh, are probably 50 mils or 40 mil nails, depending on the minimum distance. We see here this uh, spacing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and this is done automatically um, with priority controlled, first on test points, then on through hole component pins. And if there is no other choice, then components with this package can be probed automatically with a certain shift. So, and this is a very um, fast and easy uh, setup in sealing and uh, uh, leads to reliable probing also onto SMD component pins. Another possibility in the sealing software is a shift per pin. This is shift per package and this is shift per pin. This shift per pin is defined in the ceiling component database and here we can see there is a shift and here and here so it's a bit of a zigzag and this allows that the probe diameter is a bit bigger we can see here this is probably 50 mil nail and this is 75 mil nail because the spacing here is bigger because they are um, shifted and this can be done automatically in the component database. Uh, can be entered in the component database and will be applied automatically. And this leads then to a bigger drill diameter or probably also to a better uh, probe access, a better test coverage. And test coverage, this is the uh, result that you have now with this uh, algorithms in the software, very intelligent and very um, easy to use automatic pin placement um, that allows you to enhance the uh, fixture access onto the printed circuit board and this leads to a higher test coverage in, in circuit test. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.